In this video, we're going to talk about traveling on a network and the following terminology is used to describe the routes we take when traveling on a network. First one I'm going to talk about is called a walk and a walk is basically a route where you can cross vertices and edges as many times as you like. So we're going to go for a walk on our network diagram and the walk that we're going to go on is described below. You'll notice that we start at vertex E and finish on vertex I. So starting on E we go to J and we'll draw arrows just to show the direction we traveled in. After J we go to G then to F then to E then to J again. Now I'll draw a line just outside the other red line just to show that we traveled from E to J twice. Then it wants us to go to vertex H and then finally to vertex I to finish off. So when we went on our walk, we noticed a couple of things. First of all, we crossed one edge twice. We crossed the edge from E to J twice. And when you go on a walk, you can cross edges as much as you want. We'll tick this box here. Edges can be crossed multiple times. The next thing with vertices, we pass through some vertices more than once. The vertex E, we started at E and went through it a second time. And also vertex J, we pass through vertex J twice as well. So we'll tick the next one. Vertices can also be crossed multiple times. Now moving on to our next route, this one's called a trail and a trail is a route we take where edges are not repeated. So we're going to cross off the point here that says that edges can be crossed multiple times because this time they can't be. However, vertices can be crossed multiple times so we'll give that one a tick. Now the trail that we're going to take starts at vertex E and finishes at vertex J. So let's do that now. Starting at E, we travel to F, then we travel to G, then to J, then back to E. So we've passed E twice now. Then travel to I, then to H, and finally finish up at J. Notice that we pass through the vertex E twice and the vertex J twice, but we never ever went over an edge more than once. So this is a trail. Now we're going to look at what's called a circuit. Now a circuit is basically the same as a trail, meaning that edges cannot be crossed multiple times, but vertices can be crossed multiple times. What makes a circuit different is that it has to start and end at the same vertex. So when we describe the circuit below, you will notice that we start at vertex E and we end at vertex E. Let's do the circuit now. Starting at E, we go to vertex F, then to vertex J, then to vertex G, then over to vertex H then back to J. Notice we've passed through J a second time now, but that's okay. And then all the way back to E. You will notice that we started and ended at the same vertex. You'll also notice that we never crossed over an edge more than once. And you may also notice that we did cross a vertex more than once. Let's move on to our next one. This one's called a path. And a path is basically a route we take where vertices are not repeated this time. Now, if you don't repeat vertices, you'll find that you also won't repeat edges. We'll put an X here stating that vertices cannot be crossed multiple times. We'll put another X here because we find as a result of this that edges cannot be crossed multiple times either. We'll follow the path written below, starting at I and finishing at vertex G. We go from I to E, then from E to J, then from J to F, 
and from F to G. You'll notice that when we followed this path that we did not cross any vertices more than once and we didn't cross any edges more than once either. Let's now move on to what is called a cycle. Now a cycle is basically the same as a path, meaning vertices and edges are not repeated. What makes it different is that once again you start and end at the same vertex. So because we can't cross edges more than once and can't cross vertices more than once, we'll put an X for both of these. And let's have a look at the cycle that we are about to do. We start at I, then go to E, then go to vertex J, then to G, then to vertex H, and then all the way back to vertex I. What you notice is that we do not cross any edges more than once. And when it comes to vertices, there is one vertex that we cross more than once, technically vertex I, because we started at vertex I and ended at it. So there is an exception for a cycle. We can cross one vertex more than once, but that is the one we start at. Anyway, that concludes our video introducing traveling on a network. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooklets that relate to this video.